Some new information now on the staggering migrant crisis in Europe. Italian police say they've busted a massive human smuggling ring responsible for waves of African migrants crossing the Mediterranean from Italy. Uh, to Italy, I should say. This follows a tragedy over the weekend when a smuggling ship sank with as many as 950 people on board. Amy Kellogg live in London with more on that. Amy. Hi, John. Well, yes, Italy has rounded up some of these smugglers. And also, John, the Italian press has uh, published some conversations that were picked up on wiretaps in Italian prisons um, from these smugglers. Some really cynical conversations, John, in which these smugglers allegedly refer to the migrants as sort of suckers for spending uh, a couple of thousand dollars for a trip. Uh, after which they may end up, if they survive, getting sent back to where they came from. Also, these smugglers bragging that they can make as much as close to a million dollars for some of these very dangerous trips, uh, not for them, of course, but for the migrants across the Med. Now, uh, Europe is absolutely desperate, obviously, about what to do as this human crisis is becoming worse by the day. As many as 900 people died when a boat loaded up with migrants capsized and sank in the wee hours of Sunday. Uh, rescuers are still looking for possibly survivors, but more likely more bodies. Here are some of the bodies arriving in Malta today for burial. Apparently, the migrants on board raced to one side of the boat when they saw another ship approaching. They wanted to get the ship's attention for help. At that point, they capsized, and reportedly, there were hundreds locked in the hold. It is believed that they went down in a sort of tomb. Many of the refugees are from landlocked, landlocked parts of Africa and cannot swim. The boats have mostly washed up in Italy and its outer islands like Sicily and Lampedusa, but they are also heading to Greece now. One wooden sailing boat crashed near Rhodes today. Three, including a baby, died. And as we speak, some more dis distress calls have gone out. Ships are on the water searching for refugee boats in distress. John, we are getting reports that some people from these two latest boats in distress have already died. The Coast Guards are a aware of their presence, but the problem is that they are so overloaded. It's been such a busy week. They're still working on that operation from Sunday that it's really a race against time. Italy's Prime Minister, finally, John Matteo Renzi, uh, ruling out what had been a debate about possible airstrikes on some of these smuggler locations and boats in Libya, because frankly, it will be hard to know what's a smuggling boat, what's a legitimate fishing boat, and also uh, the situation being as chaotic and tenuous as it is, airstrikes could possibly just inflame things even worse. John. It's just an awful situation. Amy Kellogg from London. Amy, thank you.